Assalamu alaikum. We're asking uh, for advice concerning the role of the masjid in the life of the Muslim as it relates to education, uh, and praying in Jama'ah, for example. Now that we have our our new Imam, Mr. Shahid Rana, may Allah preserve him. We have classes three times a week, uh, and, uh, and the salawats are here, he's here to lead. So do you have any advice as to encourage us in, the, in reviving the role uh, of the message in the life of the Muslim? Barakallahu feekum, you've asked about the role of the masjid in the life of the Muslim. That's the topic of a lecture in and of itself. But briefly, at this occasion that you step forward into, inshallah, a new chapter in the ongoing history of the Islamic Center of Palm Beach. May Allah Ta'ala bless its maintainers and those who visit and pray there. Going forward, I say firstly, Allah Ta'ala has said, فِي بُيُوتٍ أَذِنَ اللَّهُ أَن تُرْفَعْ وَيُذْكَرَ فِيهَا اسْمُهُ يُسَبِّحُ لَهُ فِيهَا بِالْغُدُوِّ وَالْآصَالِ رِجَالٌ لَا تُلْهِيهِمْ تِجَارَةٌ وَلَا بَيْعٌ عَنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ There are houses that Allah has given permission for the erection of, the building of, and the maintenance of. Meaning He has ordered them to be erected and to be maintained. And that His name would be mentioned therein, raised and mentioned. In those houses, you find men. And they are the ones who maintain those houses, and they are the ones who make mention of Allah Ta'ala morning, and evening there are men, rijalun, rijal, real men. لا تلهيهم تجارة ولا بيع No business, no trade, no commerce distracts them, keeps them away from the worship of Allah Ta'ala in these houses. عن ذكر الله وإقام الصلاة وإيتاء الزكاة يخافون يوما They mention Allah therein, they establish the prayer, they pay the zakat, and they are afraid of a day. They are afraid of that day which we have mentioned in this lesson. This is a testimony from Allah Ta'ala in Surah An-Nur, where Allah Ta'ala testifies to the faith of those who maintain the masjid. And may Allah Ta'ala make us from them. So beginning with the establishment of the salah, the sacredness and the honor of a masjid being firmly established in the heart of the believer when he attends. It's not like any other place. He does not come and sit down like he sits down in a restaurant. He only comes in and sits in it after having prayed two rakats at any time of the day or the night. إِذَا دَخَلَ أَحَدُكُمُ الْمَسْجِدَ فَلَا يَجْلِسْ حَتَّى يُصَلِّ عَرَكَعْتَيْنِ If any of you enters a masjid, let him not sit until he first offers two units of prayer. As our Prophet ﷺ ordered, the sanctity of the house of Allah Ta'ala has to be upheld. It is the place where Allah Ta'ala is worshipped alone. His mention is made. No trade is mentioned therein and no one announces lost property. This sanctuary is firm and grounded in the heart of the believer and within his actions. And he maintains the house of Allah Ta'ala with his money, with his body, by praying there five times a day, by spending on it, taking care of its bills and its expenses, and so on. And he maintains the masjid, the house of Allah Ta'ala, and it is the believers who maintain the houses of Allah Ta'ala. And there could be much mentioned, but I'll add one thing here that I need to close on. As our iqama here in Al-Masjid Al-Awwal is just a moment away now, that is the importance of regular education. إِنَّمَا الْعِلْمُ بِالتَّعَلُّمْ Knowledge is only the result of efforts made to pursue it. You need to be diligent in attending the house of Allah Ta'ala for educational opportunities. Like this one and others, you have Mondays, Monday nights, you have Wednesday nights, you have Friday nights with Ustad Sa'id. أَحَبُّ الْأَعْمَالِ إِلَى اللَّهِ أَدْوَمُهَا وَإِنْ قَلْ The most beloved deeds to Allah Ta'ala are those done most consistently, even if they are few or small or not great in nature. Something done consistently is beloved to Allah. Can you, Ya Abdullah, you Allah, servant of Allah, can you set aside in your week, a time that is to educate yourself and your family 
and stick to that and not compromise that throughout your week no matter what comes up and you make it a priority and you say this is my class at least one time a week and for those of you who have more time two or three times a week in the masjid learning your religion with humility with humbleness to Allah Ta'ala with a cooperative spirit between yourselves and your teacher thinking good of him as he is someone that we think good of and we ask Allah Ta'ala to bless his efforts and to bless his gatherings and to grant him the ability to speak the truth in every situation and to aid his brothers who call to the truth and to connect his brothers locally to the scholars of Islam with sincerity and true following of the messenger. We ask him for this. May Allah Ta'ala grant all of you success in establishing a community. Muta'awinina fi ma baynakum with true salafi brotherhood and cooperation between you. That is for the sake of Allah Ta'ala and in true genuine following of the authentic sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam upon the way of his beloved companions radhwanallahi alayhim and the imams of the early Muslims called the Salaf, may Allah Ta'ala grant all of us love for that way and cooperation with our brothers upon that way. Wa salli allahumma wa sallam wa barik ala nabiyyana Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.